Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Freedom Fridays. I know you guys thought I forgot about you. I promise I didn't. I wanna make sure you can hear me or see me. This is Ted. Uh, you know it's Ted. What a week, oh my God. So let me know you can hear me or see me. Give me a thumbs up. I'd hate for there to be nobody watching this show today uh, because I have a lot to say. Hey, Juliana, what's happening? Let me know you can hear or see me. Just give me a thumbs up. Uh, we're back in the same room we've been in all day. Hey, David Grimm. Uh, let me know you can hear or see me because... Uh, hey, TGIF, yes. Oh my God, I am so thankful. This has been a week from hell, and I'm allowed to say that. Monica Garcia is back on. I want to tell you this has been the most one of the most challenging weeks I have had in a very long time. And the reason I originally had the title of Freedom Fridays, which is one of my favorite parts of the week, was the gift of forgiveness. Well, I wasn't feeling that today. And I'm gonna tell you that we're all human and sometimes that's not what we're feeling. I'm not feeling forgiving today. I wasn't feeling forgiving yesterday either. And we don't have to. I look tired, do I really? It's the lighting, Bob. Listen, you're gonna be part of my, I'm gonna to have to X you out. You have to be nice to me. I'm not tired at all. I'm tired of uh, dealing with people, that's for sure, but I am definitely not tired. Uh, so hey, Fred, what's happening? Uh, so uh, let me tell you about my topic. My topic is just because, oh, see Monica, don't listen to Bob Moylan. We love you, Bob. Uh, here's the deal, Velvet Blazer, you're right. Just because they're in your circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. And I wanna talk about that because I've experienced it this week and last week and I'm exhausted by it. Maybe that's the exhaustion that you're seeing, Bob. I am so tired of saying, oh, but they're in my inner circle. I wanna talk about inner circle. I wanna talk about circle. I wanna talk about corner. These are different. David Grimm, I bet you did. I'm telling you, here's the deal. I have been somebody who always people calling, so hold on. I've got this inner circle of friends, and I do. I have, a, I have an amazing group of friends, but I'm gonna tell you that I am becoming less and less a believer in an inner circle, a quote unquote circle of friends. These are my, these are my people. These are the people that will support me in everything that I do and everything that I'm trying to accomplish and will be in my corner if I need them. And I wanna tell you point blank that that is absolutely positively not what I'm experiencing at all. And I haven't experienced it for a while. So what does that mean? Am I giving my circle of friends a hard time? No, so please don't read into this. Please, if you're in that circle, the people I'm going out with this evening, the people that I spend time with, the people that invite me to events, I am not giving you a hard time unless you're feeling guilty and then we can talk about that later. I'm telling you that just because they are in your quote unquote circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. And I wanna talk about my experience and a few experiences of friends of mine uh, for this past week. So you know I've launched the TED Show, right? This is no big surprise to anybody. I love what I'm doing. I absolutely love the TED Show. I love it. Do you know that the 99% of the support I get is from outside my quote unquote circle? 99% or more. Do you know that the people that I consider my inner circle barely give me the time of day when it comes to the TED show? I'm not faulting you for it. If you're in the inner circle, listen to me. Don't get mad at me for saying this, but I'm just telling you, when's the last time you said, hey, Ted, uh, I would love to help you. How's it going with the TED show? Is there anybody I can introduce you to? And we're gonna talk about mortgages in a minute too. Ally McCarroll, you're on, you know this story. I'm telling you that I don't get that love from my quote unquote circle of friends, inner circle. It's not there. I'm not gonna go into the psychology of why. I'm just telling you I don't feel it. You know where I feel it from? Outside of that. So just because those people love me, and they do, just because those people support me, and I believe they do, doesn't mean they're giving me what I need, doesn't mean that I feel like they're in my corner. And that's what I want you to know. 
I want you to know, here's the deal. We are all doing things. I'm working my butt off to promote the people who come on the TED Show. I'm working my butt off to promote the TED program, to coach my clients that come in. And here's what happens. Do you know what I get? Bob Moylan, I'm gonna give you a hard time, but it's not just you. Ted, you look tired. You think I'm tired? I'm exhausted from putting up with people who are in my circle, but not in my corner. If they are not constantly building you up, and I'm not telling, that, telling you that you have to have it. I'm, t I'm talking to the people who are supposed to be building you up. Reach out to me. Yes, Juliana, tired of going after my friends. Do you know the last, Bob, you know I love you. Do you know the last time somebody checked in on me? I almost cried. I actually had it the other day. Somebody said, Ted, I just wanna know how you're doing. Holy God, it was like the clouds came down, the Armageddon was coming, Jesus was coming in. I don't know what was happening, but that is the first time in so long that somebody said, how are you doing? Listen to me again, just because they're in your circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. I want, I am a strong human being you're strong human beings too. I know it, I love you guys. But here's the deal. We are all working our butts off to create our worlds, to create our environments, to create our businesses. And we have this circle of friends that we talk to, these people we hang out with on a daily basis. For the love of God, I've probably bought booze for 95% of Orlando. Uh, and they're in my circle but they're not necessarily in my corner and they're not necessarily in your corner. So I'm going to challenge quickly before I move to mortgages. If you have not said something positive to me about the TED show and what I'm trying to accomplish with it, if you have not gotten on the show, commented on the show, uh, invited me to meet somebody to be on the show, if you have not said, Ted, I love what you're doing, then you might be in my circle, but you're not in my corner. And I want you to be in my corner. I want you to know it hurts my feelings. It is impactful to me, <clears throat> excuse me, because I want that. And sometimes I need to hear it. I need to hear you go, you're doing a great job. Just because I'm strong, just because I'm on TV, whatever this is called, radio I get sometimes, I'm not on radio. Sometimes I get that. I want you to say, I love you for what you're doing. What can I do to help? Is this difficult? I do this all the time. I check on people 24 seven. You don't have to be me. I'm just telling you that you should be that way to somebody else. Give them, please give them the support. I have a large circle of people I love. That doesn't mean they're in my corner. So I'll challenge you if you're listening, if you're gonna to listen to this later, if I have reached out to you, thank you, Courtney Campbell, and I appreciate that. I know you guys are gonna be complimentary, and I appreciate it. it's probably gonna make me cry later. I appreciate the fact when you come up to me and you go, I love what you're doing, Ted. Do you know who I get that from? people outside of what I would consider my inner circle. So inner circle, I'm, give, I'm not giving you a hard time, I'm just telling you that there is a need, we need to support each other. Don't assume that just because it looks like I'm getting support from everybody else, that I don't need it from you, that I don't wanna hear it, that it isn't important for me on that particular day to hear, Ted, you're doing a great job. And it's not about me. I have friends that are suffering through this too. Look, look at the comments that are already going up and down the screen right now. If you have a friend that you haven't checked in on in a while, if you have somebody that uh, you do business with and you haven't thanked them in a while, if you have somebody who sends you business, who you have not thanked in a while, or you haven't said, hey, how are you doing? Please reach out to them. Look at Melody Garcia's on here. Melody Garcia is one of the most well-connected women I know on the planet but I can tell you 100% that all of the people that she supports, all the people she shows love to, 
don't necessarily give it back. This is my comment, not hers, but I'm gonna tell you from my perspective, the same thing here. I want it back. We all should want it back, and why are we afraid to ask for it? Why are we afraid to tell, I love you to pieces too, Melody. I don't wanna be afraid to say, I need some love. But what I wanna challenge you to do is give them the love before they have to ask for it. I'll talk about mortgages for a second. I'm a mortgage broker, right? Until you guys start spending a ton of money on me for the TED show, which is coming, I do mortgages in town. Do you know how, how many open houses I've done, how many real estate agents I've worked with, how many people I have promoted, how many open houses I've promoted, listings I've promoted, friends that I have in the business? Do you know that, that I consider them my inner circle? That does not necessarily mean they're in my corner. Maybe it's because they didn't have a good experience with the company I was with. It's still me. This is Ted, Ted Bogert. It's Ted. I still love you guys. I'm still a good person who wants to help you. So the fact that you're sending business to some of my favorite people like Devin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna announce some people, Devin, Lawrence, um, Tara Merritt, I love all of those people. It's not about that, it's not a, there's so much business to go around. But why are you wanting my services? You wanna be part of my inner circle and you don't wanna give back to me. Why don't you want me to feel like you're in my corner? So here's the thing, people need love. They need some sort of support. They need to feel like you care about what they're feeling. Do you agree with it all the time? No, I don't need you to agree with me all the time. I just need you to go, Ted, you're doing a great job, or Ted, it seems like you might need some help. Is there something I can do? Can I introduce you to somebody? Is there anything that I can do for you? Stop being the taker of everything. So when I talk about my circle of friends who are all gonna give me so much crap for this show, I'm not giving them a hard time. I'm giving them permission to help me, to give to me the things that I need. And in all honesty, if I don't say it, if we as a group don't say, hey, Ted, or hey, Colleen. Hi, Colleen, hi, Monica. I need to have a little bit of love today. Maybe you don't have it in you. Maybe you think that I've got it all together, which I don't. I need to have that. We all need to have that. And anybody who says that they don't need that is not being truthful or they're afraid. So listen to me again. You love you lots too, Ka I love you, Colleen. Tell somebody you love them. Just because they're in your circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. So what I'm challenging people today to do, I'm challenging you to think about the people who you love, the people who you support, the people who you do business with, the people who you go out with and drink with and eat with and then don't support, I am encouraging you to get into their corner. I want you to support them. I want you to send them business, make an introduction, say, you know what? I might not have liked how you did business before, Ted, with the other mortgage company. I want you to reach out to them and tell them you love them, you care about them, and you're in their corner, not just their circle. I don't wanna go out with people anymore where I hear about the 400 different places they've sent business, or this is my favorite, the latest one. Oh, this has been good, ready? How's that crazy little radio show you're doing, Ted? Oh my God, it's not a radio show. I have a face for radio, I get it. But it's not a radio show, so what does that mean? That means you're not paying any attention. And guess what, instead of saying to me, how's that little radio show of yours going? How about, Ted, I love, I hear great things about the Ted Show. Or Ted, I hear great things about you as a person. How is it that I can help you and be impactful in your life because you've been impactful in mine. We don't give credit to the people that are impactful in our lives. I see Rose Kemp on here. I love Rose Kemp. 
absolutely adore her. She has been so helpful to me. She has, she has reached out to me. I'm giving examples because she happened to pop on. Same with Monica Garcia and Melody Garcia. Same with all of you on here who are coming on. You all feel it. You need it. You want it. Don't we want to be told, oh my God, you're a great person. How can I help you? Such simple things to do. I don't want you in my circle anymore. I want you in my corner. I want you to support me. I want you to support your friends that are in there. I have family members. I love them to pieces, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. They don't always support what I do. That's their right and that's okay, but here's what we need to do for each other. We still need to let the other, per hey Josh, we need to let the other people know we love them. Josh Soto has been amazing to me. He just popped on. He didn't have to be amazing to me, but you know what he does? He always checks on me. He makes sure I'm good. When he introduces me to people, he says, this guy's like my brother. I love doing business with him. I love Ted Bogert. That goes so far. Why don't we do that more often? Why do we hold it all back? Why do we hold it back? Why aren't we more giving in our quote unquote circles of friends, our circle that is supposed to be our people that keep us, that have their strong arms around us. Why is it that we will not give them the love and the attention and the introductions? It's a small thing to do. So if you're in my circle, which many of you who are popping on are, take this as a Ted's asking for a little bit of love. And honestly, I want to give it back. I want you to have it too. I want you to not just be in my circle. I want you to be in my corner because I promise you, I'm in your corner. Corner and circle are different. I'm sorry, circle around. There's 850 people. Don't assume just because I know everybody in town, quote unquote, that I don't need you to be in my corner. I need you to be in my corner and I'm not alone. All these people up, up and down here that are commenting, they need you in their corner too. Don't take for granted that just because somebody looks successful, seems successful, talks successful, doesn't mean they need a, don't need a hug or an introduction or a pat on the back or anything, something positive. Give people positive. It takes no energy to do that. So remember, just because they're in your circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. And I want to challenge all of you who are in a circle, who haven't reached out to a human being that is in your circle, who, who haven't given love where you should give love, give the love. So that's my thought process for today. I love you guys so much. I'm not asking for donations. I'm not selling pencils on the side of Orange Avenue. Here's what I'm telling you to do. Tell me you love me. I'm gonna tell you I love you, but go further than that. Tell people you love them. Tell, you, tell them you support them. Ask them, what can you do? What can I do to help you? How can I help you in your business? How can I help you in your life? And don't take people for granted. Don't do it, all right? Love you guys, happy Friday. Have an amazing, I love you guys too. I love all of you. Have an amazing, fabulous weekend, as Rose Kemp said. Mwah. Love you guys.